Hello, hello, Jeff Hellman here with the Lori Ballin team and Ballin Brands at your command. Today, I would like to show you a video on how to import contacts. And I'm also going to show you how to see the results of that import, uh, which is increasingly important lately based on uh, sometimes the import doesn't always work the way we expect it to. So we want to make sure we have a way to check that out. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and click on contacts. Now under contacts, there is a nice import button right here at the top right of the screen. So I'm going to click on that. And what's important to know about the command imports is that we need to have them in a certain file format. So there's a lot of fields that we're importing in. We want to make sure that they're all in the right order. So what we want to do first is actually click this download. So we're going to download the pre-made CSV to upload your contact in the command system. So when I click on download, it will download a copy of your uh, CSV. So it's actually labeled KWC for Keller Williams Command Contacts Import Template. Now if I open up the import template, then we actually get here a sample might look a little bit different on your screen depending on if you're on a Mac or PC. But these are the headers. We need everything to be in this order and we actually need the headers to have these names specifically. So some of the challenges we run into is um, maybe home phone just says phone. Well what happens is is command is looking specifically for these uh, titles, these headers in there. So what might be best to do, there's different ways to format spreadsheets uh, so that's really a separate discussion, but we need to get your contacts into this format. So I can simply add columns, and if I had a, another file that I wanted to copy the information from, maybe paste it in that way so that I preserve the right fields. But it's, it's best to make sure that these are the same names um, and move columns around. So this is going to be probably the hardest part about any of the import. It's just this piece, making sure that this is all... Um, done in the right order and like I said with the right headers there. Okay, so once you have that I have a sample here that I set up that has information in there. So first name, last name, legal name, mobile phone. If I don't have information I just simply leave those fields blank and the information I do have I go ahead and fill those out whether they're a buyer or seller. I've got some tags in there. So a few different things here. Okay. So once I have that, we need to make sure that the file is in the CSV format. That stands for comma separated values. Um, and the reason why that's important is because if right now I'm, I have open a program called Numbers on Mac, which would be the equivalent of Excel on PC. Well, each of those has its own programming languages, so it's not the, the file would not be the same, and therefore commands wouldn't know how to handle each of those files. So when you have this, we want to make sure you do a file, export, and to a CSV. You want to make sure the final file that you're going to import is a CSV file. Okay. So once we have that established, we'll go back here to my screen, and we're going to see here it says the CSV data format must be set to text when the file is saved. That's usually the default, but if you do have a setting in there to change that, if any row is populated with information but does not contain a name, an error will occur. So we always have to have name in there. And if further assistance is needed, please utilize the support tab at the bottom of this page. Okay, so um, hopefully this all works for you. But if it doesn't, then obviously we're going to need to reach out to support and uh, take a look. They'll help you there. So here we can drag and drop or browse your file. So if you have it on your desktop, you're able to drag and drop. Or I can click Browse. And I'm going to go to My downloads and then I'll go to my um, actually my desktop I have a sample import so Jeff's command sample import and hit open and I'm gonna go ahead and click on import contacts so it says it may take a moment so we received your request to import your contacts will be available soon based on the amount of contacts you import this could take several minutes so we do find this is usually pretty quick um, doesn't take too long but if you have a huge file sometimes it's recommended you break it up um, to you know less than 400 contacts or something if you have a database of 20,000 people um, you know you might want to do a test first before you try to import that many people and see if it goes through the way you want it to okay so I'm gonna go ahead and click finish and I'm gonna reload the page here and see if any of these came through 
And there we go. We have a test. We have one test, two tests, and three tests. So those are the ones that were on my import. Now, if for some reason, let me go ahead and click on one, one test, and it was flagged on my spreadsheet. It was flagged that had test tag one. So this is a way to get uh, custom tags into the database. Uh, there's also ways to create those now. And then buyer, I had marked it that this particular one was a buyer. I marked that the two test was seller. So all of that came through exactly the way I wanted it to. So we're all set. That looks good. Now, if you had an issue where uh, we've seen this in the past where you have, uh, let's say, 100 contacts and you imported them, but your, your list of contacts here only went up by, let's say, 80. Well, that would mean that 20 of them failed is really what that means. So what you can do is up here in your, uh, underneath your heading, your name and your profile image, we're going to go into settings. Then we're going to click over here under uh, command settings. And then there's import logs. So I can click on that and click on my log. So you'll actually see the date that it was done and the date that it was completed and then how many were imported and how many failed. So in this case, three imported, there were no failures. So everything worked flawlessly, there was no problem at all. I can actually download even the original file that I used to import, which is awesome, especially if there's errors. Now, if there were errors, there would actually be a second button right here. It says error and it gives us reasons why there's an error. So um, when I download that file, it's actually my, my, my original CSV file, but it has an additional row right at the front. So if I were to open it up, there would actually be an additional row right at the front here. And what I can do is um, it would actually have the error contained right here in this. So some errors that we see common that's that's kind of a glitch in command sometimes is uh, that the work phone is already in use so that's throwing back an error kind of indicating that it's a duplicate or that somehow that number is already attached to another contact so sometimes those errors again aren't necessarily the correct errors but it is still an error so that's why we'd recommend of course reaching out to KW support at that point and trying to make sure if nothing imports if everything you know if every line was an error it's most likely that one of your headers was off or they're named incorrectly or something else about the file was incorrect so hopefully again if you follow these instructions you've got the right headers you get your contact information the mo like I said the most time you're going to spend is kind of formatting it the right way and of course there are services out there Ballon Brands provides that service as well to help with imports and otherwise that should uh, get those contacts in there for you. So if you have any questions, by all means, please reach out. You can email us at team at ballonbrands.com or you could check out the website with, that Lori Ballon does for understandcommand.com for lots of tips and tricks and advice and uh, we will be happy to help you from there.